walk, called. And I had no idea why he would be calling me unless there was an issue, right? A problem. And when he said I was in being considered for the Hall of Fame, I was completely shocked. I mean, never in a million years did I think I'd be considered, let alone selected. Absolutely thrilled, you know, to be receiving FIA's highest award, highest honor. When working at the CFTC, what was the most difficult issue and what brought you the most joy? The issue that I worked most diligently on and that's kind of springboarded me into new roles um, as counsel to commissioner, for example, was the audit trail role. At that time, we were looking for the exchanges to, to be within a one minute time frame for each trade. And of course, now things are at a nanosecond, but that was a huge issue back in the day. And so that was the most complicated, I would say, in terms of meeting the expectations of the regulators for, you know, trading audit trails and tracking with compliance through the use of those timing. Um, everything was manual. We reviewed trading cards manually and... Um, the timing was key to identifying trade violations. So people took notice of them and they gave me an opportunity for greater visibility. The one that brought me the most joy was working on the core principles based regulations, which was a complete shift for the CFTC from prescriptive rules to more flexible regulation, which allowed the industry to grow by leaps and bounds. So that I would say was the most interesting um, rulemaking that that I worked on and that was switching to the core principles based regulation. What were some of the challenging issues you dealt with at NYMEX? When I went to work for NYMEX it was really baptism by fire because at that point there was already pending legislation to um, put price limits on the WTI crude contract. Price limits that would have basically strangled the market and taken the, you know, lifeblood, the liquidity from the market because they also wanted to get rid of speculators. Gas prices were hot and that was the solution that they'd come up with. And so my job was to kill that, kill that draft bill so that that didn't happen, which would have destroyed the market. So that was probably the most challenging and that was my entree into the lobbying space. What did you learn from dealing with Congress and the lobbying partners? There's a lot more involved uh, on the ground in Washington than, than people see and people understand. This was my first entree, my first even understanding of, you know, how influence <laughs> is peddled around in, in, in Washington. But I also appreciated the fact that my background as a former regulator gave me um, a lot of um, opportunity to um, work with the members of Congress because they trusted me. They trusted the fact that I really understood the markets as a former regulator. I understood why they were concerned and was able to address their concerns. What was it like representing NYMEX in front of your former longtime employer, the CFTC? It was pretty easy because the CFTC, that was my family. So they welcomed me with open arms when I when I come in there they were very accommodating and I mean I had spent most of my adult life <laughs> certainly most of my career at the agency um, but I think the expectations were high as well because they knew that whatever I would submit they would expect it to be flawless because I came from there and so what ended up happening was, in addition to doing lawyer lobbying for NYMEX, I was also the quality control for all CFTC submissions. So everything that they were sending into the commission came across my desk first to ensure that it's meeting their expectations, the regulators' expectations. So it was actually a very comfortable role for me to be there. Of all the changes in the industry over your career, which ones make you shake your head the most and just say, wow? The, you know, flexible regulatory structure, which dramatically changed the industry, and, and the commission's expansion over the swaps market. 
That was huge, right? Yes. Something they had fought for, you know, a long time, but that um, expansion of their jurisdiction into swaps was was very industry changing um, for not only the futures business, but for the swaps business. So that I think was probably what would be the wow factor for me.